on behalf of the White Throne and on behalf of the Ministry, I would like to welcome you all who are listening, switching on to, um, to this session whereby we will preach and impart uh, nothing else but the truth uh, of the Word of God. Today is a Sabbath day here and um, happy Sabbath. Me singatambu binaka, singatambu marotaki, we kemuni o ni varomai, kitu wabini binakatanga na kelo, e na bukuna, bukuna na itu keni ministry, na tu rango ciso, ke na bukui lo malangi, ke tu mai weekend apa kiani, we kemuni wenga na monua, o ni tu kena na say buru buru tawanga, o ni varorongo mai kena. We'll we'll continue on chapter six. Revelation chapter 6 today, but just before that, I would like just to remind you uh, for what we said last, uh, last Sabbath from the front cover to the, to the back cover. So are we going to pick and choose or we play that uh, song, we skip, we hop, we jump? Right, so we have to remember that especially the head of the churches, if we play that song, we will be questioned on Judgment Day. So it is important that we have to be vigilant, we have to keep an eye, we have to be awake because of the devil. Ravisi. Mendangarauna Last week, last Sabbath, we spoke on that. Balata ketua mai tu kuna ciko, balata iyo nai bertangi ke na meke. Yes, we are pro. Balata ni bagai bola tambo. Eh, tu kunci kau nama tu sao? Tini sao bagai bola tambo ngah saya meni. So, mai nama tay ni 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 tiki ni bola tambo kena kena iyo tio ti. Ah, ibe yang dana taura, ibe yang dana biota. So what is important here, Lord Jesus' words, from the beginning, because he is Lord God the Creator, judge on Judgment Day. And Revelation was specially documented to prepare us so that we know and aware what to expect, the lifestyle that we should take on board to enable us to enter the gate into the kingdom, to eat from the tree of life. We have to remember that. The people who are leading the churches, we are pleading. We can only na viliu taki tiko na lotu. Kito sa kere kere me tu kuni na kain don doro me tu kuni. Because for so many happenings, you turn right, left, and center. The people are saying, "Yeah, because it's the last days. This is happening because it's the last days." So the book that was specially prepared, that was specially documented. It's not even preached. It's only by preach from uh, quite a number of people are preaching about it. But the so many are not preaching about it. In every pulpit, na we tu tu ni mo na ukere, and na ngau na ngau, but in sanda tiko na yot yot isar ni ngau na sanda do no me mo na utagi tiko kina na iba kita kila. Yesterday I was talking to a lady. She um, she's very good, very bright here. She was asking me a few questions about, because she watched the, the preaching, the DVD. She was asking me a few questions, the truth about the Sabbath and the Ten Commandments. She even testified and said there was an evangelist that, that visited this place, highlighted that. If you follow the beginning, from the beginning, and you don't hop, skip, and jump the, um, the Ten Commandments, you are on the right track. Once you skip the Ten Commandments, you'll go zigzag. That's a good one. You'll go zigzag. Because who goes zigzag? The snake. Sick, 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 sick. When you miss Genesis chapter 2, when you miss that, he blessed, he sanctified, he rested. He ended his work on the seventh day. When you miss that, when you miss that, you play, skip, hop, and jump there, you'll go zigzag. 
to where you are today. And it's amazing to me when she said to me about what she heard, about what we imparted. And she asked a few questions and I replied. Just halfway, she explained the conclusion of that. She said, that makes sense. But she belongs to another denomination. And she said, this makes sense. So I ask in return, your church? Has your church covered this? She said, not once, not even once. Okay, we won't spend more time on that, but we are pleading on behalf of the throne because of the ship's salvation. We go into Revelation 6. I just want to make it clear. The tribulation that we are preaching about. Everyone will go through tribulation. If your breath is still in your nostrils. Everybody. No one is going anywhere. We have said this last Sabbath. No one is going anywhere. Except if your name is called to go six feet down. Whatever is not biblical is a lie. And the author of lying is the one that zigzag and that's a devil. We are fighting the devil. We are fighting the devil. Okay. Let's get into business. In Revelation, chapter 6, I'm looking for my that very page. Could not see it here, but never mind. So, the, we, what we covered last Sabbath was the, the, the breaking of the first seal. The breaking of the first seal one thing that I have to say, because if we say the breaking of the seal and John saw this. The lion of the tribe of Judah. One thing I have to say here, it, it is like, or it was like a, a moving picture. It was like a moving picture. But the Ningai Rayon and John saw the white horse. And the rider was there. So, what we heard last Sabbath, the rider had a bow. And it just so happened, I wanted to check another translation apart from King James Version. The other translation said, the rider was given the bow, not true. The Bible says, clearly says, the rider of the white horse has a bow. The crown was given to him. And it was explained last week that he was given the crown, it signifies authority. But physically speaking, he was given the authority to do anything you want to do. That's what we covered. But let's look at it spiritually. We go back. The white horse signifies the church. When the word of God, when the good news was first preached, it was first preached. White signifies purity. That's a church. And the rider. The rider that went 
and had a crown. So that was Lord Jesus, the crown, because he wears the crown. And then the good news was preached at the highest degree and touched the lives of many and conquer the darkness and conquer evil. If we look at that spiritually. But if we look at it physically, the writer has been given the authority to conquer and go on conquering. The spiritual side, the writer with a crown, bow is a, is a heavenly, earthly weapon. But the writer went, conquer, went to conquer and conquering evil, if we look at it spiritually. And then the breaking of the second seal. The breaking of the second seal, and then one of the, well, I'll say the cherubims, but it say the beast. One of the cherubims called John to come and see. And John saw a red horse. Okay. John say, saw the red horse. And the red horse signifies blood. Okay. So, and and a big sword was, was given to him that was given to the rider. That was last Sabbath. We talked about that last Sabbath. But today, we'll go into the third, third seal. The breaking of the third seal. And, and the rider, we will talk about the rider. <coughs> So we will be doing some reading. Okay. So in verse 5, we'll go into verse 5, please. We'll go into verse 5. Members of the ministry, we will read in English and we will hear that in Fijian as well. We will go slowly. We will go slowly into verse 5. Okay. And then today we'll cover verse 5 and then we'll cover verse 6 to verse 5 to 3. And, and when, when he had opened, opened the third seal, seal I heard the then be say, come, come and see. see. And, and I beheld, lo, lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him, him had a pair of balances in his hand. 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 In Lakumai, Yakawa Reza, Kareza, Sanduna was a law law. Yoko Sabon to Tiwakina, Satur Nebarao and Alingana. Amen. The black horse holding the balance. Okay, we look at it, what it means. The southern thing in Indrena, the Indrena, the Indrena, many wall of being in a Catalun Indrena. They were coming away along the Rezo Choni, now was a law law, they lakumai. O kwe mundo chukin na gay tawra tigo na ibagaraw kwe tukun ni chumbo na balance go and do ana kaya nando tuto chumbo ang gay lahom ayro na 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 sunido ang to na chain rong gay tawra kina na na ibagaraw eh so he was holding the balance this signifies what yet to come the good and the evil so it balances it it balances it Lord Jesus is balancing that. The good and, of course, the evil. And the writer was holding that. So we'll do some reading now. We'll go into Matthew, please. We'll go into Matthew, please, uh, members of the ministry. Matthew 24, please. 24, 6 to 8. Okay, the, the rider on the black horse is holding a balance. Okay, that balances the good and the evil. Okay, we are talking about tribulation. Okay, and also, what is going to happen during this tribulation, before we read, I'm still taking some time here, before we read, um, that balance, what signifies that what we're going to have is pestilence and famine. And I have to know that there is no and I have to know that there is no way to say that there is no way to say hunger will be everywhere. What we said last Sabbath, last Sabbath, no one is going to love the next person. 
hunger, excellence, na famine, na ndao usingalemu, ena karongo. But Lord Jesus already warned us that this is going to happen. So that's why it's important. Kwa ena kaya kita ukati uki, na nikamibi, mesamu na utaki na iba katakila. So that the people know what to choose, what to accept, what to let go. Na ibu na utungwe na kungu, eka utama ina yalu matua, eka utama ina bugu baga lo malangi, that will prepare you this tribulation time. No one is going to love the next person, because there's going to be hunger, pestilence, and famine. O kwa ya nga er na biloma ni o ira tigweke. Bala tanadaba, o ira ngo era tango maki. Na kenra na menra era senga ni lakatak. Because of obedience. Oirango era tango maki. So, to the head of the family, Vike mwini na ulu ni buwale, Kei na kena randini, No nango ame sawa sayi na ngini nango, Vee rina ngwane. This intelligent lady that I met yesterday, Kei na umiwe sayi chiko kei kakwe biyao, Kakwe ngorwe ya, Eruwa na biwe chini, Ibiti, Orto na mwene lalai, Orto na mwunga ngata, Kana mwuna wetini, Maina imatai, Kei na ingo chochi. Yoko amaramamu kubakuroi. Kakawa orto unanuma bakata bana. Perto kela kelitu. Orto unanuma nelalai. Listen to me. Na buku ya soli ya maina. Na indabendabe bakatura nga maila malangi. Ena tanga dede kena na buku bakabura hura. The wisdom, the intelligence. Ena soli ya moku ya. Kema kandro sabaka dhoro nomro itabi. Otama kitina. Orto unanuma ne mera toki lango. So that they don't put the wrong foot anywhere. Mere kilango kemunrao and lead by example. So what we brought? Why we brought this? Nada weka umi kinango. Baleta niyo irango e barota gina kenra na menra because of their obedience to God because it had happened. How many many years ago to the Israelites? The forty years in the wilderness. He was their provider. And of course, we always say in Goshen. So if you choose not to obey this, when I cast up our will and go, the big cake the go go on a sotaba. Then we go into verse six and verse seven and eight, and we'll hear in in English and we'll hear the Fijian translation. Two, three. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Yendo nongo da na ivalu, kena irongo rongo da ivalu. Ondo kaku ni kinroa, isakili kili meya da na kango, yeka semberanga na ivo katau tuuti. Seven, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Ina be mbole mbole, ina be bonu eso, kena be matani tu eso, ena zo talanga nanda usinga, kena tabu kini bonua. And a son, I won't go. And many, the sufferings, the sufferings. And um, <clears throat> it says here that we heard that a nation will rise against nation. We know that, North and Korea, okay? North and Korea and America and other nations. <coughs> we even hear about earthquake every now and again. And Lord Jesus, these are his words. It's written in red. And this is what he said. <clears throat> But the end is not yet. This is the beginning of sorrow. In verse 8, it says, All these are the beginning of sorrows. He said that, Obey, obey, obey. Those who choose to disobey, go here and sort of go. Please listen to me. You are not so wrong that you cannot eat too much now. You hear us imparting this. This is impartation. It's so important. When you are not going to be wrong, you will be wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. Why we saying don't? Because he'll just tell you what he believes. If you don't hear this in your church. Kau senior rumah tu kau ni pun tahu tak? Oh, kau ini laku buah. Oh, kau nak tukar nama ibu kau nak kawal, eh, bawa tukar. 
Tarungan at turang na ay Allah tamu. When the Spirit of Truth is come, He will guide you to all truth. Ano kaya Allah tanga na turang ng Jesus? You hear from us. What we imparting is all biblical. Sa katalikin tole tibu kay kaya na dapat tale sa tibu tale kaya na ibala sa tibu tale na ibala sa nga. The Word of God. Because we love Him and we obey Him. Because He said in John 14:15, "If you love Me, keep My commandment." Exactly. That's what we do. It's overflowing from us, and we are imparting it to you. And it would be wonderful. Kung tali lang malamarua, sa aray na ike, sa bulay chiko ngango, sa himeni. That if you want to meet Him in His glory of perfection. Niko sa sinindambeke o sina ni binakata na nona sina tamu. Sir. And ala ko mayo ko er ala ko nala ko ikon na chiko ngamay. Doon na evangelist sa bunaw. Kay bango na bunaw. Yan na sina na kakandresundusugin na nakote. Balata na daba. Why? Because the people who are so faithful in the church and they realize They've been fooled by the people who are leading the church because they didn't tell them. Because all the time they say, "No, that was the Old Testament, not anymore." So when the time will come and the people will realize they've been fooled, and then they will attack the head of the churches. That's how he put it across that evangelist, and he is warning the people, the head of the churches, who hears that, please do something. Preach about the truth that is important. I'll just look into Ezekiel. I'll just look into Ezekiel. It just came to mind. Ezekiel, we'll see Ezekiel 33. We always share that. Ezekiel 33 verse 8. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his iniquity. But his blood will I require of thy hand. May na nona talay dendre kinandina ni kalo na imuna ni kalo kano na ako ay ako ay na don Ruby ako ay na mate yan na nona nra ako na tarong ay ko ano kay double dose ay ko o ay ko sa katigo ni mga bauta ko o kay imuna ni katigo ni ko na kahit biyala lahi makawa double dose triple dose ay ko na don Ruby ni kalo so today is a day of salvation. Kaya sa rumo ng ko kundi yalo kau kawa accept the truth. That's one. And number two, ako sa tukunawati, I will repeat that once again. We kamo ni na sa rumo na you read and it's biblical. Kundi lako buo ako yah. Sino ni buo na utakti ko? Balat ako na bago baba ng amay. Kaya ko biyam mula talame na hundo na buo na malay bago bago utakti kina. Okay, let's get back. To the balance. Let's get back to the balance. The balance is about the error that's been preached in the church. The truth, not really the truth. So nandi na may mula tapo ito kuni kaya na so na kasal yung kasarna. Ni mga titigata kaya for example ko ang go kaya na nona si ngatam. Gori sa uti makawa. Gori nono nga na Israeli. Gori nono nga na Chiu. He is the Lord of the Sabbath. Then I met him. I met him. No way. No way. The two rangers are sitting together. Them. Why? Why he would waste his time for him to say that he is the Lord of the Sabbath? But let me add another one. Because I'm a young one. The two rangers are sitting together. Them. So why not? We observe his Sabbath day. Glory, Hallelujah. So let's get back to the balance. There are two. One is the error. One is the lie. These two, they hold hands together, they enter the church. It, we have taken that spiritually, the first, the first horse and the rider, the white one. That's when the, the truth was preached in its glory. And you know what? The black horse was the really goat. Ni law law, na wase law law. This is signifies that the church are accepting and entertaining the lies, the lies that injected by the snake. Na weling ang adingato, o kwa sa ano na yung uto uto ko may napaglasuyan, hindi na nikalow, but may rano na yung wili wili, may landebata na bato. 
kata-kata. So what is happening now? The two balance, the lie, go na kwa na lasu, kwa sa zaka tu na ngono and the error. What is happening now? Even things are not biblical. Sa sa kana tayo ni mga ibulat tamo. Amen. Praise the Lord. Or to the karunong sa yung ama. Amen. Amen. But it's not in the Bible. Sa mga tama na nandere tu ni Rabis. Why? Because his slave eats slave. O ira no na bobula. They are not able to differentiate what is biblical and what is not from God. Nazawa ay may uwan na kalaw. Nazawa ay isang ni may uwan na kalaw. Kento sa bulas ang tuwango ni Buso Kabata. We said last two Sabbaths, consecutive Sabbaths, that Revelation was specially documented. And John was in the eyes of Patmos. He was divinely commissioned, specially for this, to warn us so that we know what yet to come. Huwag ka na tapat na rin siya nga ni Bikila. Kaya lang minggu rin na, ako kanyang sengko rin, may kanyang mga may bikiman. Eh, ito ko na sa rati ko nga, na matagal yung ito meri, at ako ito ko na balilo, ito ko kinaw ko ya. Iya, sa dandui lewana. Sa dito yung tabi na, ito ko na yan, so as other big churches, we just impart it. And the choice is yours. The choice is yours. So, in verse 6, we'll move on. Okay, so we finish, we, we have talked about the pair of balances. Okay, so now we'll move into verse 6. We'll see chapter 6, verse 6. Can we read that in English? And we'll hear the Fijian translation. 2, 3. And, and I heard a voice, voice in the midst of the four beasts saying, A measure of wheat for a penny, penny and three measures of barley for a penny, and see the herds, not the oil or the wine. Awar rumah saya itu nando mu, nak kira tu malu, nak kampul eleva, sakaya, mebolit tak kini baharau, witi, nando na peni, katulu nai baharau parile, nando na peni, kerai zamu kaku ni baka zaza nana way way senawai ni. Thank you. It says here. We'll try to take you slowly into there. It says, thou heard not the oil and the wine. Lord Jesus said that to be highlighted because of the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit, the oil and the wine. That's referring to him. So, this is the time for good and evil. What we have said, the time for famine and pestilence. Go na nga una ni biakana, go na nga una ni mate rerabaki. If we put it in a fiscal, fiscal um, part of it, a fiscal side of it, nangauna ni mamaroi, nangauna ni alomatua. Turang au chisu, we wasa chigo koya, e kai chigo koya, na wai wai, beta ita tuku na na wai wai ita kai wai wala tamu, e ana turang na alo tamu. Ke baka na kai talanga na wai ini, se na wai ini wo, e ai tuku ni tiko na turang na alo tamu. Thou hurt not the oil and the wine. At kuna tuki na ano ko ay ay na iba ka kila na kena waseono. The wheat, if we look at the wheat and the barley, okay, the wheat and the barley. We can. This is in reference to the food in time to come. Money won't be able to. To buy, to buy that. And ang aong nararawa, kwe sa da nasotawa. Ngon da nasotawa. Though I was using the word was, the past tense, mbalata ni araida o choni. Yang po, nabikang po, esembera ni adomay. Ah, kemunisa na taura ti kwaya. Bata ni, may bagaya nga tagiti ko, araida o choni. Iya, mbikang po, bata ni asa raida o tiyo kwaya, enangay yado, enangaw na may muri. So this will be the time of great darkness. Ya menda na numatiko. Sa wakaray taka tigo na turang o chisu na yung ilosi vechoni ngo tuko na virango mo bola ingo na karorawa enayadomai. Bali and wheat. 
there is a time for harvest for it in the Middle East. So as other countries in the world, Australia and other countries. So it was cheaper to buy it at this time. But in time to come, uh, people will kill because of the Bali and wheat. No one loves the next person. And they will love the next person. Praise the Lord. Can we just link the Bible verses together? Okay. We talked about the Lord Holy Spirit. Now we'll rewind a bit. We'll go into John chapter 16 verse 13. We'll hear that in English and we'll hear the Fijian translation for it. It's John, John chapter 16 verse 13. Two, three. How late when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you in all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Yeni sala huma ikukoya na yalo tangu na muni kandina, ena tumiri kimundo uki na kake zenga indina, yena senga ni wosa wakata kikoya, yena kake zenga ena romada ena wosa taka. Amen. Lord Jesus said, Not thou, thou not to hurt the wine and the the wine and the, the oil. Okay? That's the Lord Holy Spirit. So, like what we have said, He been sent, the Lord Holy Spirit been, been, pre, been promised by Lord Jesus that He'll come and guide us to the truth. He will. He will come and guide us to the truth. What we've been saying in Hebrew, chapter 10, verse 15, He is the witness to us because of what's behind me. O kwaya e may magandina hindi na kaka. Na turangaw chinsu e turangaw ni sala kumina ya lo tamu. Na wuni kandina e na may tumberi kemundo e na vika kedanga e dina. So the churches nowadays are accepting and entertaining the lie and the error. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala siniway mo la tamu sa wanga sa may tukuni oti. Amen, praise the Lord. Kaya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mandanga na kay tukuni tiko ayani. We really have to be, be, be careful. We have to be awake. We have to be vigilant. Kaupita mundo we andrava. Menda we andrava. Na ke mundo umeda. Na te boro sa baka na layoni sa tangi. Sa wangara na kami tiloma. Menda we andrava. Vitalia ke de mokwe. Sa tukuna mena kasi tukai mula tamu. You're right. If you're a good Christian. Taroma. Na tiki ni mula tamu za bambi aka kwa ya tukuni chiko kina ngore. So if he or she cannot support it with a scripture, red light. Be careful. Be careful. So we still in John. That should be easy to see. John 14, 26. Please, we'll hear it in English. And we'll hear the Fijian translation. Two, three. But, but, but the Comforter, which, which is, is the Holy Ghost, Ghost whom, whom the Father will send in my name, my name he shall teach you all things and bring all things. Amen. The Holy Spirit, the Comforter, when He comes, Okoya manga sa tukuni oti na ina na ipiriu na kano wasenti ni tigin ay tigalima. Okoya ena may bagandi na dina. Okoya na may bagandi na dina na kame na bawudi kenda what to protect us. May na tango magikenda ena ng unang drendrengo. Tribulation ni na lahom ay ni sa may bagandi na dina okoya okoya sin lahom ako ay matuo may dani si kina. Esin lahom ay ako ay matuo may mga sao sa kina. Sen, o kwa ala ko mo ko ay to guide us to the truth, the importance of of knowing what yet to come. Nakakadem well taka tu na turang ng Jesus ni na yada mai o kwa ay mai wakandina dinakina. Thou shalt not hurt 
the oil and the wine. But the Tokwe, he's got a major task. In a revelation go, he's moving in revelation, in confirming what was said from the throne. Okay? He is the great witness. Glory, hallelujah. So, Lord Jesus said, he will come. I will look over here. He will come. He shall teach you all things and bring all things in remembrance. And abaka na numiro to utale na tisay peli. And abe kanga. And abo sa kapag mimbita ka na turang o jiso. Singa tamo to uti wera kena vale. And a seventh. Na no na ibu nao. He comes to be a witness. Kwa kena upo ula mera kay priyo. That is so important. New choir and my work and dinner dinner. Okay, final from John. Still on uh, chapter 15, verse 26, please. We'll hear in English and the Fijian translation. Two, three. But, but when, when the, the comforter, comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, Father even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. Amen. In this song, I come in and I will be able to do it. I will be able to do it. I am not a Muslim, I am not a Muslim, I am not a Amen. Just once again, this time in tribulation, Lord Jesus said, the end is not yet. This is just the beginning of sorrow. Once again, once again, this is from the throne, I will say on behalf of the throne and the ministry. No one is going anywhere. Aw sa bambu tni sa rongo tiko ni aw ni sa rongo tiko. Na bi mga rongo tiki lebungo na nga unang deringo sinitua la ko ibe. Kesa kasin nga nasa mo may naiwala ni mate sa galak sa. Kaya mo na utak tiko ngori niya kaya mo do do na ka do ka ibe. Di kaya no 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 no. Sir. Do na mo do basi to la ko ibe do la ko ibe but to go up there. Not yet. The Bible speaks volume about it. He said, the end is not yet. But the end is not yet. Tribulation is over here. It's a time of good and evil. The times are the same and we will see the end of this chapter 6. Isa kautani on on verse um on verse four, on verse four. He that sat, you know, this sat on the red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Isa kautani mo kwa, kautani ko na magdemo. Isa lang ko na magdemo. Isa lang ko ba tanda lolo magkatulog? To sa day biray mula mula sa lang ako kento. O kento na talain rin rin tigo na dapat. Peace is going to be withdrawn and given unto him a great sword. O sakir ker, kito sakir ker, ena bukwilo malangi, obedience is very important. You, if you want to see God, if you want to see Lord Jesus, obedience is the key. Love and obedience, if you love me, keep my commandment. Obedience is, is very, very important. So, if you are entertaining the lie, if you are entertaining the error, please come away from it. Please, we are concluding here. Tribulation is in front of us. We don't know when. Nobody knows. But when you look to your right, you look to your left, it's the end of times. Earthquake every now and again. Someone was saying back in our village, the time has gone. When you go to your relatives, you eat, you spend all the time there, you eat whatever you want. Not anymore now. Slowly love is been withdrawn. And now it says here the peace will be withdrawn too. The churches are accepting and entertaining the error, the lies. And what do you think? The head of the churches that sit on the white throne, kwa nona na lotu, sanga nindo kwa nona na lotu, sanga nona tuto na lotu kabitu, sanga nona tuto na waisele, sanga nona tuto na Pentecostal, it's a whole no 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 no, na lotu na nona na kalo. Christians, o kwa nga lotu makaristo, kila ukimini na data na kautukuna, o kwa nga lotu makaristo, kito sa tau kaiwa 
those who carry the cross of obedience and follow the founder of Christianity. Naturang ho Jesu. Nikako, if you love me, keep my commandments. Nikosato lang, nakia na kao bela tayi. You are a Christian. So liyo ko yun na lawa, ito ngo. Nangon na kumuriki na you are a Christian. When you don't do this, no, no, you are not. Isa na. O yun nga rata liro ro, e na kaito kuno ko yun. Those who obey what he says, they are Christian. The rest of them are rubber stamp Christians. Dapat na yung malapal rubber stamp kami na ilang ko. O ikaw may Christian, tuki. Ikaw may Christian, tuki. Christians, o ira na muri yan. Dala nung nakawilta, ikaw muri yan. Naturang ako, Jisoo. Dito ko niya ni Mayra. Ngon na nang naibunaw. So, liyan turang ako, Jisoo. May menongo. Ngon na nang nasingatang. Ngon na kaya nililiyo ko yan. Bata ka ko yan na mari. Kaya nang 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 kaya The Lord of the Sabbath. Kaya, may may nungu na sila tapu gori. Aw na duma kina gori na nungu turang na nungu kalaw. Yan isang tuko niya ni, na ibunaw mo, na ibunaw niya. O siya nga yung gusto, so lima kawir to the chuk, ito, 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 ito. Play, hop, play, skip, hop and jump, na numati ko ya. Doon ang gori na sila tapu, sila tapu gori. Na sila baro ay, siya, 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 dila ay luto to ni sila gori. Kaya may minduwa nga na niya may bisi ka tamo. So you are not a Christian. Because, Lord Jesus, the Christ, is the head of is the Lord of the Sabbath. Go on the sing a tambo coin. Kekolo to Bacaristo, or none, but more water than sing a tambo. Kekolo to Bacaristo, or nothing more, but quite a while. Praise the Lord, quite a lot of making a yard, a turang and a yellow tambo, my way in Rangatikina, me bacadina dinner, new on gong and a dinner. Because why? He was at Mount Sinai. He was there when the commandment of understanding was handed over to Moses. We, are, we have concluded. We will continue next Sabbath. So from the White Throne, we would like to thank the White Throne and the head of the ministry, that's Lord Jesus and our greatest teacher, the Lord Holy Spirit, we love him very much. From me personally, I would like to thank the members of the ministry and I would like to thank each one of you. For the newcomers, thank you. If you want to see him face to face, Lord Jesus Christ, not only here, but other big ministries too. They are screaming about, they are preaching about, and we are screaming about it too. May God bless you and may God be with you till we hear each other next Sabbath. Mr. Engineer, thank you so much for the supervision of the equipment. Vinaka Nimbulumbula binaketiko, mani mamaro talena binaka.